A boy mates, a new very pretty mates, and warning take by me. Don't go down to the chaser's wood. If a maid you want to return and return, if a maid you want to return. Lady Margaret, Lady Margaret, she was sitting in her bower. She was red as any rose, but she longed to go to the chaser's wood to pull them flowers that grows and grows. Oh, to pull the flowers that grows. And she taken out her silver comb, made in haste to comb her hair. Then she away to the chaser's wood, as fast as she could tear and could tear, as fast as she could tear. And she hadn't pulled but the one red rose, the rose that grows there in the green. When a voice said, Lady, how dare you pull a rose without no leave of me and of me, I without no leave of me. This little word, she says, it is me very own. Me father, he given it to me. I will pull, pluck, break, I'll bend the branch. And I won't ask leave of thee and of thee. No, I won't ask leave of thee. Oh, he's taken her by the middle so small, down to where the grass it grows so green. And what they've done, well, I just couldn't say. Oh, the green grass grew between and between. I, the green grass grew between. Eyes taken her by the lily white hand down to where the grass it grows so green. And what they done, well, I just couldn't say. But he never once asked her leave, her leave. No, he never once asked her leave. It's four and twenty ladies, they're all sitting in the hall, playing at chess. Oh, except for young Margaret, she's green as any grass, any grass, and she's green as any grass. I was four and twenty ladies, they're all sitting in the hall, all as red as the rose, all except the young Margaret, and pale and wan she goes, and she goes, I pale and wan she goes. Up there spake one of them little girls, and on her face there was a smile. She says, I think my lady's loved a little long, and now she goes with child and with child. I and now she goes with child. Up there spake another of them girls, a pretty little girl was she. She says, I know a herb growing in the chaser's wood, as will twine the babe from thee and from thee, as will twine the babe from thee. Lady Margaret, she picked up her silver comb, made in haste to comb her hair. Then she away to the chaser's wood, as fast as she could tear and could tear. As fast as she could tear, and she hadn't pulled but the one bit of herb, the herb that grows there in the loam. When up there spake young Tam of the Lynn, saying, Margaret, leave it alone, oh sweetheart, Margaret, leave it alone. Why do you want that bitter, bitter herb, the herb that grows so grey? Except for to twine away the pretty little baby we got in our play, our play, Mark, we got in our play. Oh, tell me this, young Tamalin, she says, if a mortal man he be, 
Well, I'll tell you the truth without a word of a lie. I got christened as good as thee is thee. I got christened as good as thee. But as I rode out on a bitter, bitter day, it was from me horse I fell. And the queen of the elvens did take me in yonder green wood for to dwell and to dwell. I yonder green wood for to dwell. And it's every seventh, seventh year we pay a toll to hell. And the last one here is the first to go. And I fear the toll, it's myself, it's myself. I have fear the toll's myself. Oh, tonight it is the Halloween when the elven caught your ride. If you would your true lover save by the old mill bridge, you must hide, you must hide. By the old mill bridge, you must hide. And it's first I'll come this black horse, and it's then they'll come the brown. And they're both raced by the white. You must throw your arms up around my neck. And I will not you a fright and a fright. No, I will not you a fright. And they'll change me then, and it's all in your arms. It's a menace, the beast so wild. You must hold me tight, you must fear me not. I'm the father of your child, your child. Oh, you know I'm the father of your child. And the woods grew dark, and the woods grew dim. Time of the lynn was gone. She picked up her lily white feet, and to the mill bridge ran, now she ran, and to the mill bridge ran. She looked high, and she looked low, she encompassed all around. But she nothing saw, she nothing heard, she heard no mortal sound, no sound. Oh, she had no mortal sound. Till about the dead hour of the night, she heard them bridles ring. It chilled her heart, it gave her a start, more than any mortal thing, anything, more than any mortal thing. And it's first there come this black horse, and it's then there come the brown, and they both raced by the white, and she's thrown her arms up around his neck, and he didn't her a fright, and a fright, no he didn't her a fright. And the thunder roared across the sky, and the stars they burned as bright as day. And the queen of the elvens gave a stunning cry, saying, Young Tamalin is away, is away, I young Tamalin is away. And they changed him then, it were all in her arms, to a lion roaring so wild. But she held him tight, and she feared him not, he was the father of her child. Oh, she knew he was the father of her child. Soon they changed him again, it were all in her arms, to a big black hissing snake. But she held him tight, and she feared him not, he was one of God's own make. Oh, she knew that he was one of God's own make. And they changed him again, it were all in her arms, to a big black dog to bite. But she held him tight, and she feared him not, he didn't her a fright, and a fright, no he didn't her a fright. 
So they changed him again. They were all in her arms to a white hot bar of iron. But she held him tight, and she feared him not. He'd done to her no harm, no harm. No, he'd done to her no harm. Then they changed him again, it were all in her arms. To a mother naked man. And she threw her cloak up around his shoulders, saying, Time of the Lynn, we've won, oh, we've won, saying, Time of the Lynn, we've won. Then the Queen of the Elvens, how she cursed young Tamberlin, oh, well, she cursed him good. She said, I should have torn out your eyes, young Tamerlan. I should have put in two eyes of wood, of wood. I should have put in two eyes of wood. And it's curses on you, Tamerlan, she says. You once was me very own. And when you was, I should have torn out your heart and put in a heart of stone cold stone I should have put in a heart of stone